how to schedule a news story. So we've created our news story here beneath the Our Stories tab. We've titled it Test Story 1 and we can see the text here. We're going to go in to that story and edit the page so that we can add um, in some scheduling information. So to do so, we're going to click on Site Actions and we're going to edit the page. You'll notice that when the ribbon appears, to the far left there is an option that says News Article Details and Scheduling. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to bring up a box with lots of choices here. If we just want to schedule our news story to appear on the front page of our school site, these are the steps that you take. The first option that pops up is asking you which published locations you would like your news story in which to appear. So I'm going to open up my elementary schools list by clicking on this little plus sign here. And I'm going to scroll down until I see Peely Island because that's the school I'm working under currently. And I'm going to click that box in the advertised location. Now if this were a news story that I wish Scott Scantlebury to see as well, I would click the little box beside Internet. But if it's just a school related story, I'm only going to collect, click the box next to my school. And when I'm finished, I'm going to click Save. You'll notice at the top, you'll get a prompt that says your content has been su successfully saved. And then you know it's okay to go to the next step. The next tab is the News tab. You also have to fill in the information in the News tab for those stories to appear on your front page. So we're going to click on the News tab. It's going to ask you the start date uh, for the time in which that news posting will start appearing on that front page. Now it generates the date of today. However, you can change that date to whichever date you wish. You also must fill in an end date. So if you have an end date in mind, so for example, if it's something specific, um, such as a registration time that ends at a certain date, you can go ahead and fill in that date by just clicking on the calendar and selecting the date. If it's something that you just want to scroll for a while that's general news, just select a date sometime in the future. So for example, three months from now, November 30th, that news will probably be old news, so that's when that posting will end. The next step that you must have in order for these news stories to appear on the front page is an image. So the next piece asks you to select your image. You can browse, click next, and we're going to find an image for this news story. And mine are in my pictures folder. So wherever you have saved your images is where you're going to navigate to when you're um, going through this step. I'm going to, select, going to select this picture and click open and then I'll click my next button. Now what comes here is our image cut area and it only has an area that's a certain size so that it fits into that template on the front of your web page. Sometimes you're going to find that your images are not the ideal size for that template. So for example as you see here my butterfly girl picture is uh, long and narrow However, my template for my website is horizontal and along that way. So I only have this amount of space in which to put my picture. So I'm just going to kind of drag it until it's optimal, the best it can be. And then I'm going to click Next and Finish. And what will happen is the portal will generate um, a whole bunch of default photos that it's going to use in the various areas of the news story. Now this part here is very important. Um, you need to fill in this box and this is going to be something like your caption that will appear beneath that photo on the front page of your news story. So I'm just going to put test story. And then below you're going to select the type of category. Generally it will probably be a school event. And then we're going to click save. And once it's saved successfully, you will see that prompt at the top again. Your content has been successfully saved. Now, if you only want to display that news story on the front of your own school web page, those are the only steps you need to take. So from here, we can close off this box. And we always need to remember, before we leave this page, to publish the page. So we're going to click Publish and Continue. And that way, all of those changes that you've made when you scheduled your story are saved.